You are listening to Directions from a Spiritual Tour Guide podcast. I'm your host, Chanel Scott. I'm a psychic medium and energy healer who has been supporting those on a spiritual journey for over a decade. I'm your tour guide into the world of the unknown, showing you that the magic of the universe is at your fingertips. I believe spirituality is simple and fun, and this podcast will make it easily accessible, giving you the real talk on all things divine and spiritual, helping you to step into the flow, manifesting your dreams because we all deserve to be living our best life. Are you ready for an adventure? Hello, sunshines, and welcome to a new episode of Directions from Your Spiritual Tour Guide podcast. My name is Chanel, and I am your host and your spiritual tour guide. Welcome. On this episode, I wanted to talk about clarity. Um, the clearer we get about the things that we want in our life, the things that we want to manifest, the easier it is for the universe to give us what we are looking for. And I see this a lot, you know, um, the lack of clarity around the direction you want to go or the thing that you that you want to achieve. So then the universe is just kind of like randomly handing you things. And you're like, yeah, not that, not that, not that, because you haven't been super clear about what you want. Now, I want to say that sometimes the, and I don't want to call it clarity, but the parameters that we put around something can also be a block to achieving it. And the one that I see this the most with is relationships. People are trying to call in a certain someone into their lives, but they are determined that they're going to look in a certain way. A certain height, certain hair color, certain body type. Um, and I get that you have to be attracted to the person that you're calling in. But if the person you're meant to be with doesn't look that way, then you can block the right person from showing up. If you're determined that every guy that you are supposed to fall in love with is over six foot tall and the guy that you are meant to be with is 5'11", well, he's not going to show up because the universe is giving you what you're asking for. So they're going to give you the next best thing. And that doesn't mean that it's the best thing. It just means they're going to give you something different. So removing that parameter or changing that parameter in a way that allows for more freedom can help to bring things in in a different way. I, um, I've seen this in my own life multiple, multiple times where I've been determined to kind of make something happen in a certain way. The one that always stands out for me as I signed up to do my Reiki master teacher, I wanted to be able to teach Reiki. It was um, a lot of days and it was one-on-one. So I had the option to kind of book it when I wanted to. So I booked it about three or four months out to my different days, um, spread them out enough so I had time in between for asking questions and that sort of thing. And then I was like, okay, so this is how I'm going to pay for it. I am going to manifest this many sessions to cover the cost of it, blah, blah, blah. And literally like the next day, I got a credit card increase in the mail. And it was like, oh, the universe is trying to tell me something that I just need to trust that when I do this thing, the money will flow in to cover the cost of it. That said, being said, I didn't, I didn't not try to save the money for it. And I did part of it, but there was this realization of this is, this is part of me trusting and allowing it to come in. Now I could have balked at that and been like, nope, there's no way I'm putting it on my credit card. I'm not doing this. Um, and instead tried to save the money and then, I don't know, canceled if I didn't have the money. I don't know. Um, it is always so interesting how things show up. So when it comes to relationships, so when it comes to relationships, I always suggest, um, 
you know, putting it out there that you're attracted to the person. That covers it because ultimately the person you're meant to be with, you're going to be attracted to, right? So why do you have to define them? Why do you have to define their height, their weight, their even their age? Now, age is a little bit different. You could definitely put out there like an age range, but I wouldn't be really specific about age. I would do an age range because I get it. You don't want to maybe date someone that's, you know, significantly older or significantly younger per se. But putting out that age range is going to help. The other place that I often will suggest um, giving some more clarity is in finding a new job or a new career path. Really looking at how you want to feel, how you want to act, maybe the area that you want to work in. And that means like the physical area, like that it's located, but also the area as in like the genre or the realm that you are looking to work in. You could lay out, you know, salary that you're comfortable with, um, how you want to feel each time you go to work, the kind of boss that you'd like to work underneath of. There's so many things that you can put out there to help create a clearer picture for the universe about what it is that you want. Because otherwise, again, the universe is going to show you all these great things. Um, I had this happen about two years ago. There was like a dream job that kind of came up for me. Um, it was with the, with the Make a Wish Foundation. And, you know, I've I think that would be an amazing foundation to work for. Um, I love what they do and, you know, I think it's incredible. So, you know, that's a um, that was kind of a dream job. But, but when I actually looked at the job, the salary and what it entailed and where I had to work, I realized that this job no longer really suited me or fit me. And, you know, maybe in another day or time it would have, but currently it just wasn't a good fit for me in where I was and how much I was already making other places. So it's always interesting. The universe kind of said to me, hey, you know, this is an opportunity. Would you like it? And I kind of went, mm, maybe. And then when I really looked at it, I realized you know, it's an amazing foundation, but that job specifically was not a job that would have filled my cup in the way that I would have liked it to. Um, so I walked away from it, right? Um, so yeah, so there's lots of ways we can kind of put out there the things we want. Uh, when we uh, rented the house we're in, same thing. I had this like strange list of things um, and it was less about the appearance of the house and more about the feel of the house, needing to have green space, needing to have a big tree, needing to have um, two offices, enough bedrooms, like things that weren't like super specific. I didn't need big bedrooms. I just need bedrooms that fit us. Like it worked, right? So the universe gave us the perfect spot and it's worked out amazing and we love it here and we love our landlords and they're incredible. So finding more clarity around the things you're trying to create, manifest, and even heal can help you move through it in a way that gives more ease and grace. It, it, it allows the universe to listen to what it is that you want to create and give it to you in a different way. So I always suggest making lists because I think that's a really great way of getting really clear. It's physically on paper because physicality of word is really important. So that's spoken word or pen to paper. It's really important because it gives the, the words, it gives the manifestation an energy that is alive. It, it definitely helps. You could make that list in your head, but definitely the physicality of it, putting it out there, will be more beneficial. So the other thing you can do is continually revisit the list. Does this still resonate? Does it need to be changed? How can I get more in alignment with this list? Because honestly, that's kind of the other part of it. And we're not going to talk about alignment today. We're going to talk about clarity today. But I'm just going to caveat and say... If you are not in alignment with the energy of what you are asking for, 
it also will probably not come to you. So being in alignment with that thing is also important. Um, again, relationships, because this is one I think we all kind of can relate to. Um, if you are in a place where there is a lot of healing that needs to be done to be able to step into the relationship that you really want, the universe may not bring you the person because if you're not healed enough to be with them, then the relationship won't work. So there's so many different factors. Same thing, like, yeah, you can ask for a multi-million dollar job, some crazy CEO or whatever, but if you don't have the education and the background, of course, the universe is not going to get you there. So what is the stepping stones? That might be your dream, like your dream come true kind of thing. But the reality is, is there's pieces that are there in the in-between that have to happen to get you to that place. The other thing around clarity I'd like to say is that there is action involved in clarity as well. Not only are we creating the list, but we're taking action in, you know, actively looking for a job or a home or a partner that fits that list. It's us saying to the universe, I created this list and now I'm, I'm, I'm looking for that thing. One of the hardest parts, though, I think, is detaching from it. Our need, our want, our desire can, again, block what it is that we are trying to create. If, if we are so attached to it, like if it, this doesn't happen, I just don't know what I'm going to do with myself, then that can really block the flow of things, too, because that means you don't trust. And you need to trust that if you create this list, that the universe is going to bring you that thing. Alignment, clarity, trust, they all kind of grow together. Okay, this is a short one today. Uh, clarity, clarity, clarity. Are you clear about the life that you want to live? Are you clear about the things that you want to manifest? I'd love to hear about it. Um, thank you for being here and taking a listen today, um, being a part of my journey and allowing me to be your spiritual tour guide. Uh, new episodes drop every Monday um, as well. You can check out my social media. I do readings there um, and share all sorts of tidbits of information. Um, and always grateful to connect with you in any way, shape, or form. So thank you, thank you, thank you. From my heart and soul to yours. Till the next time. Bye now.